Hey, welcome to my video on creating a charge for a Stripe Connect user. I have a video on um, char uh, for actually setting up the Stripe account, uh, Connect account. I'll include that in the description below. This is all done in PHP. So if you take a look at my, this Medium post, I wrote this to essentially describe everything I was doing for setting up the Stripe account, um, Stripe account, Connect account. And so I went and uh, had the video and the posting, and on the bottom of the posting, I've added this, creating a charge. And so this is the idea that if I have a marketplace, let's say I'm, I'm Shopify, um, I have no association with Shopify, let's say I'm Shopify, and I create a Stripe, um, sorry, someone creates a store, therefore I set up the Stripe uh, Connect account, so all their inf banking information, and then after that, um, I want to actually, when they have customers come to use their store, I want to charge their customers and send their money to their Stripe uh, Connect account. What I'll do is I'll create the charge, and as you can see, you just pass in the Stripe account ID, which then tells Stripe, say, hey, this charge is for um, this user, and then what we can actually do is add an application fee. So I know Stripe take, uh, not Stripe, Stripe takes a fee, but um, Shopify also takes a fee. I think it's a 3% fee, and I'll show you how to do that as well. I'm not going to set up a um, Stripe account, uh, Connect account again. Um, I have a bunch already set up here, so I'm just going to use this guy. And I did this in the previous video, and I just need the ID, really. So I don't actually have to set up everything, I just need the ID. I am running MAP to do this all in PHP. Permission denied. Unable to save. go and so all I'm going to do is I'm going to do two things um, create this file called keys and it's going to contain my stripe key just because I don't want to show um, it on camera and that's just simply because I've already refreshed them set them re had them all set up so I'm just gonna call this stripe secret key and if I include once and I include keys.php um, I can just reference this variable and so what I'm going to do is wow I got a lot of crap open but I'm going to grab all of this plug my stripe secret key in here variable I missed an R in Stripe. Make sure these are the same. My Stripe account ID is what I'm going to pull from my database. However, since I already know it in advance, I'm going to grab it from my Stripe dashboard. You typically have this in your database. The amount's going to be $10. And I'm going to use, I need to generate a token, same as creating a Stripe charge. I have a video on that. I'll also include that in the description below. Um, I'm just going to get that all set up. Um, I know Stripe has a quick start for... Uh, I, want my, I want their docs, docs, docs. I don't want Stripe elements, I want just Stripe at checkout. So they have this really quick... Um, form thing. I'm about to regenerate these keys, so I'm going to create an index.php file because I actually don't have one yet. <clears throat> uh, this is your server side code. For me, that's charge.php. Um, I have this test. Data, data amount is $10. I need to include the stripe. Package the stripe.js here. I really should add the HTML stuff too, but and let's try that out. So this would be stripe to connect. So I have this pay with card. 
The only thing is I need to actually grab the token, which I don't haven't done yet. So I'll take a look at their checkout. They pass their token in. Like with a stripe. Token. Yeah, stripe token here. And as you can see, I've already exposed what my key is, so that was kind of a useless bit of code, but I guess I'll just regenerate them both. Please don't view my other ones. Um, this one goes onto the index.php, that's already correct. This is going to be my Stripe token, uh, so that's just token. And then I'm sure what last thing I'm going to do is just print the results of this, of the charge. Now this is not what you would typically do. Okay, so I'm going to refresh that. I'm going to run this now. Hit pay with card, um, test, uh, gmail.com, and then the testing credit card is 424242. And this has to be any date in the future. And then it says pay $10. It's going to send off the token to my back end, and I get a 500 error. I'm going to just go check the logs because that's the easiest way to find the error. Scroll down. Stripe, stripe, not found. Yeah, that's why I'm not importing the library. Um, it's a silly thing, I mistake I just made. I just need this one line. So I like, grab the stripe library. Okay. I'm going to try that all again. Pay with card. Test at gmail.com. 424242. Actually, you use real email. Um, whoever owns test at gmail.com, I feel terrible for. So I'm going to hit pay. And it spat out a whole bunch of stuff, which shows that it's been charged. And now, so one thing we can do is, I have this, uh, I want to actually see that. So I have the, this is the user I use. I can hit view as dashboard, and it will be like I'm viewing my own account um, on Stripe. So they don't have this functionality, but see, as you can see, they've been charged $10, or they, they made $10 today. Um, it included 941 The only other thing you could do is, with this, you. I mean, I'm now looking at the Stripe documentation. If you go to connect, um, you can add an application fee. Creating charges. Um, the application fees, you know, you can add an application fee, which takes a percentage. So the what you do there is you calculate the application fee, and then you just um, include that. So I want to take an application fee. I don't want to do... I have to get the right window now. Okay, so I want to take an application fee of, let's say, 3%. Um, so the amount's kind of hard-coded here. What would you do is you'd pass it via, like, um, um, via um, API. Uh, so you'd, you'd pass um, the accessions or the form submission. You, you have to make a way so that they can't manipulate the amount being charged. Um, that's important. So sessions is one, so you... Um, you decide whether they're going to pay, and then you recalculate it on the next on the on the submit too on this so this action. So like, you create a function that um, do this. And like you calculate the amount owed, but um, and then you just use the same function on both pages. So you'd have that there, and then you copy and paste this. I mean, hypothetically, this would be PHP copy that here and then you, I don't know, do this. I don't recommend actually and let's say I have this function here and all it's going to do is take nothing so my, my user ID let's say is 1 because that's what they're in the
And this is just a demo to show you like what I mean by grabbing get amount, get amount owed, and then I want um, I'm gonna call this amount, and I want the total to be itself plus total times three percent, and I need the ceiling of that because I want to uh, be a round number because these are this is all calculated in cents, and it has to be a round number. So I want three percent of that and at fee so the amount. You'll see what I mean by all this in a second, and this will be the app fee. Hopefully, I won't have an issue with the fact that I, I never actually use the nothing variable. And so, what I'll do is now go back to my index.html. Uh, place card uh, test at gmail.com 424242 pay create the charge on page on the PHP side I'm gonna, if I refresh this page as this user it should say today $20 Say twenty thirty because I have a three percent charge on ten dollars, which is thirty cents, and I just tack that on to the user, which is actually wrong. You should be subtracting um, the application fee from the the amount charged, if that makes any sense. Like you shouldn't. I guess like I, I I did this wrong, but this is just to show my point. The total should be this should take into consideration the application fee as well, so that the the user sees how much you're supposed to pay. Anyways, the point is. Then you see the fee, and then you can actually see the application fee somewhere in this file as well. So that's charging people with Stripe account, uh, Stripe Connect. Hopefully you liked it. I'm doing this in PHP. I have um, the other video I've included in the description. Please subscribe and please check out this Medium post. Um, I'm just getting started on Medium. Give it a little clap here. One person's already done that. Thanks. Shut up! I'm trying to record a video.